Hi, today we are solving physics set B, J means question number 8, right? So set B, question number 8 of physics, J means 2018. And the question number 8 says that we have an unpolarized light of intensity I, then we have a polarizer A. So that intensity would be something. And then behind A, there is another polarizer attached, that is B. And finally, when we see the intensity of our light behind B, it is I by 2, right? Now what we have done is, we have introduced another polarizer C between A and B. And now when we find out, found out, the intensity behind B was now I by 8. So C did something, so the intensity became from I by 2 to I by 8. And we have to find out the angle between A and C, the angle between the polarizers A and C, right? So let's just see what happens. Uh, the first thing which is very important to note here is whenever an unpolarized light passes through a polarizer, its intensity becomes half automatically, right? So this was our unpolarized light. As soon as it passed through our polarizer A, here it its intensity would be I by 2, right? Now what, what has been done here is from A to B, its intensity remained same, right? I by 2 to again I by 2. Now we can apply a formula which is generally used when we talk about polarizers, this malice formula, right? So what does it say? It says we can easily calculate the intensities depending on the angles, which is I, some intensity behind is I naught cos square theta, right? So this is the golden formula that we have to remember here and then only we can solve this problem. So for this, when we talk about A and B, so here I, the final intensity was I by 2, the initial intensity was also I by 2 and cos square theta, uh, let's say that the angle between A and B is theta AB, right? The angle between A and B is theta AB. From here, we can get 1 equals cos square theta AB. So, cos theta AB is still 1, which means that the angle between A and B or theta AB is 0 degrees, which means A and B are parallel. Extremely important information that we gathered from here that A and B are parallel, right? So, if A is like this, B is also like this. These are the two polarizers. They don't have any angle between them, right? Now we have introduced another polarizer, C. Now let's see what happens. Again, we can see what will happen. First thing that we have noted is this would become I2, right? Now, from uh, C to B, the intensity would become something. Let us say it becomes I dash and then from I dash it becomes I by 8. So another what we have to do is nothing, uh, nothing in particular. We just have to apply the malice formula again and we can simply see. So we can, we have to apply malice formula here two times, right? First between A and C and then between C and B to get the final intensity I by 8. So let's first apply it between A and C. So it says I dash would be equal to I by 2 cos square theta of AC because it's an angle between A and C, right? And the second one would be between C and B. So that would be I by 8 would be equal to I dash cos square theta between B and C. Right. Now before uh, solving them, applying some maths, one thing that is to be observe, observed here is that because A and B are parallel, whatever angle C makes with A, that would be the same angle as C makes with B, right? Because they both are parallel. So if C makes an angle of 45 degrees with A, it would obviously make an angle with of 45 degrees with B as well, right? So this theta AC and theta BC are actually equal. And this is very important to notice from 
this equation. Now, because theta AC and theta BC are equal, so let us say that both of them uh, are some cos theta, right? So cos theta AB would be cos theta AC, I'm really sorry, would be equal to cos theta BC and both of them would be equal to some cos theta, right? And this would be the angle between AC, this would be the angle between B and C as well. What now we have to do is simply uh, use the equations and use the equation 1 in 2, right? So I by 8 would be equal to I dash, I dash is I by 2 cos square theta AC is nothing but cos theta, this is I dash and another cos square theta BC is theta again. So this gets cancelled out, this becomes 1 by 4 equals cos raised to power 4 theta, right? Simple equation, simple maths. So cos square theta would become half cos theta would become 1 by root 2. We know the value of cos theta 1 by root 2 gives theta equals 45 degrees. And we have our final answer as theta equals 45 degrees or option 1 is correct. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.